Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In the last video, I did talk about what is the use of, usage of plus operator in Java. So, continuous of that video, here in the last video, I told you only how plus operator is useful for doing addition, like one of the arithmetic operation. Now, here how plus operator, especially in this video, I am going to talk about how can we develop concatenation by using addition operator, nothing but plus operator. So, how can we develop concatenation by using plus operator? Now, the last video I covered this part here. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about especially this one. Now, when plus operator behave like a concatenation, very simple. If you are using plus operator between string to anything, or anything to string or string plus string, we are always getting output like what here? String only, nothing but second string will add it to uh, side of the first string. Now, let me show you those things programmatically. Class test, I am taking, I am taking one method public static void main string s. Yes. Now, here I am taking like string s1 equal to string s1 equal to 10 string s1 equal to 10 now one more string s2 equal to 20 string s2 equal to 20 now what i'm doing here very simple very simple let me let me print the data let me print the data system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln s1 plus s2 s1 plus s2 now if you observe that output if you observe the output we can come to one conclusion what is the conclusion observe here java c test dot java and java end of the reached so i did close main method but i did not close what here class now that is what we are facing that problem Java test. Now, output is 10, 20, 1, 0, 2, 0. So, here 1, 0, 2, 0 are not a int data types. These are what are string values, string plus string always getting output like a string only. Now, previous uh, video, whenever we apply boolean, whenever we apply plus operator boolean to anything, we are always getting output like what here, Com not output, we are getting compile time error, bad operands on top of binary operator like plus that type of error message we seen but here observe string s3 equal to string s3 equal to what is this uh, um, ram string s3 equal to ram and let me take one variable like uh, boolean s4 boolean s4 equal to what true so let me comment this one let me comment this one yes and again i'm going to write system dot out dot print ln the output like what here s3 plus s4 now previously Previously, we are getting compile time error. Now, let me compile this program. What we are getting? Are you getting any compile time error? No. Are you getting any runtime runtime problem? No. Simply, it will printing output like what? RAM and true. RAM and true. So, here true will be appended to RAM. So, between string to string, between, these are string plus string and this is string plus boolean. Now, better to take any numeric int int s5 equal to 3456 now string uh, s6 equal to string s6 equal to what is this uh, chandra string s6 equal s6 equal to chandra now here i'm writing like system dot system dot out dot print ln s5 plus uh, s6 now what type of uh, output are you getting here come on java c test dot java and java test then 3456 chandra so what is the meaning of this one string plus string plus string string plus string the output is what here string only here here uh, what is that a string here string plus string plus any other data type nothing but boolean what we are getting string only what we are getting string only now here here string plus not string plus here int plus anything plus string anything plus string again output equal to what here string only 
string plus string, string plus anything and anything plus string, always output like what here, string only, nothing but always we are, uh, we are doing what type of operation, JVM is providing what type of operation, concatenation, clear. Now, observe here, let me write something here, more clarity, now system dot out dot uh, println, system dot out dot println, what is this, 10, 10 plus, 10 plus java plus 20, 10 plus java plus 20 means first what is the value int, int plus string, int plus string become a string, so 10 java is entirely one string and after that 20 is what here int, so 10 java is a string plus uh, int, again we will get what here string only, now let me write more clarity 10 is the int type and java is what here string type after that 20 is what here int type. Now, left to right, left, left to right calculation will happen, int plus string, the enter output is what here, the enter output is string, now string plus int, now string plus out means enter output is what here, string only, so we are getting one string type of data like 10 java 20, very good. Now, now what I am doing here is, uh, what I am doing here is, let me copy this one and paste here, now I am writing like 10 plus 20, here also I am writing like what, uh, 10 plus 20. So, if you are asking this question to any student, most of the cases is telling uh, answer like what here, 30 RAM 30, 30 RAM 30, but there is a small uh, difference is there, observe here. Now, first let me show the output, then I am going to explain Java and Java test, what is the output, 3 0, Java 1 0. So, how can we understand this type of output? Very simple guys, nothing is there, that is it. Now, what is our values? What is our values? 10 plus 20 plus 10 plus 20 plus, what is that? Java, what is that? Java, again 10 plus 20. Now, here 10 is nothing but, here 10 is nothing but what here? Int, 20 is nothing but what here? Int only. So, int plus int, the output is what here, int, nothing but here we are getting what type of operation, addition operation, we are getting what type of operation, addition operation. Now, Java is what here in this particular time, string, Java is what here, string type of data, Java is string type of data. Now, we are applying plus between int to string, what is the string here, what is the string here, Java, so 30 plus Java. 30 plus Java means we are getting output like what here, 30 Java. So, 30 Java again what is this, 30 Java again, 30 Java, 30 Java again what here, string only. Now, 30 Java is one string, 30 Java is one string, now I am giving what here, value like 10, now value like 10 is nothing but what here, int. Now, we are applying plus operator, applying plus operator string to applying plus operator string to int, if you are applying plus operator string to int, what is the value here, 10, string plus int, again what is the output here, 30 java, 30 java and 10, now 30 java 10, again it is what here, string, 30 java 10, 30 java 10 is what here, string, 30 java 10 is what here, string, now what I am giving here, come on, 20. 20 is what here, int, 20 is what here, int, 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 what is the value, 20, so 30 java 10 is what here, string type of data, what type of data, string type of data, string plus int, again we are getting output like what here, string only, so the output is what here, 30 java, 30 java 10, 20, so this is what exactly output. Now, if you want to print like a 30 java 30, 30 java 30, simply we need to go for, uh, simply we need to place the data into separate uh, parenthesis, like between, uh, we are applying parenthesis, uh, parenthesis on top of what here, 10 plus 20, now see the output, now we are getting output like what here, 30 java 30, 30 java 30. So, these are the few example related to whether plus operator showing or doing concatenation or not. Now, for example, I have some data like int SID equal to 101, int SID equal to 101 
and string s name equal to ram string s name equal to ram chandra now i want to print uh, 101 value if you want to print 101 value nothing is there there is no greatness simply we are writing s id now if you want to print uh, if you want to print ram chandra here is also there is no greatness what is that s name s id is 101 s name is what here ram chandra there is no greatness but uh, i want to print like this i want to print like uh, i want to print like sid dot 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 sid for example i want to print like uh, sid colon space 101 okay and uh, one more one more output like what here s name s name colon space uh, ram chandra i want to print like this now how to write this one very simple guys sid colon that is what your string value so where i need to write within the double quotes so whatever the thing we are writing within the double quotes uh, we know that that is as it is printed now 101 i'm added but 101 i available i uh, i uh, i have in the various yes id so yes id yes id colon within the double quotes means as it is as it is it will printed as id colon even though space also for this string what i'm concatenated yes id yes id means 101 in the same manner here i'm writing like a system dot out dot print ln yes name yes name within the double quotes whatever the thing you are writing as it is printed now ramchandra available in one variable s yes name variable so in this particular time within the double quotes s yes name is string and generally variable s yes name is also what here string so the output is what here again string only it look like this s yes name colon ramchandra now observe guys I want to print output like student square bracket space SID colon space 101 space comma here S name colon Ram Chandra and space square bracket. How to do that? Here, here we need to recognize only two things. 101 and Ram Chandra are the values which are available in the SID and S name. Remaining thing is also entire thing is what here? original content now what i'm doing here is system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln as it is i required sid square bracket space sid column space what i'm doing simply i'm placing that one student square bracket space sid colon space we are writing within the double quotes for this uh, sid square bracket space sid column space what i concatenated 101 so where exactly 101 is available sid so to concatenate two values we are using what here plus operator after that what i required after 101 i required space comma space s name column space so what we people doing here is within the double quotes space comma space space what is that s name after that what we required colon after that what we required space after that within the double quotes whatever the thing we are writing within the double quotes as it is it will print it on the very console after that what we need to do we are writing like we are writing like s yes name here we are writing like what here s yes name s yes name now after that after that not completed s yes name means up to ramchandra printed up for us we required what we required what space square bracket and close it now ended with the semicolon if you observe this output you can understand clear the screen and java c test dot java and java test the output is what sid space sid colon students square bracket space sid colon whatever the thing whatever the manner we required as it is in the same manner we can print uh, with the support of what here plus operator now i want to show you one thing here a few miscellaneous uh, uh, small small points related to primitive data types so system dot out dot print line system dot out dot print line 10 by 2 then definitely everybody is saying like what here 5 is the output no doubt at all java c test dot java 5 is the output now i'm taking the same statement i'm taking the same statement and uh, here i'm writing like uh, 3 everybody telling like the people who are very good at mathematics they are telling like what here 3.333 something now 3.33 something now java c test dot java and java test what is the output only 3 why here here 10 is what int and 3 is what here int 
int plus int int only again int by int we are getting what here int only so int never represents what here int never represent this is what here wrong output int never represent a fractional so it will giving only left side of the dot now i want to print this is beautiful i want to print uh, 3.33 then i want to print 3.33 now here i am writing like what here 0 0.0 here i am writing like 0 0.0 or here i am writing like uh, 0 0.0 now 5 3 5 3 and 3.333 so it will taking what here double range it will taking every fractional is part of what here double only now what i am doing i want to represent data in the float manner then we are writing what uh, simply i am writing like f here or here we are writing we already we know in the previous videos if you want to represent the float type of data either we are using either small f or capital f notation now see it will take uh, seven spaces here seven ten and this is 13 and 16 but these are 3 6 7 what is the meaning of that this is double notation and this is what here float notations and float representation not notations so like this we can able to use the plus operator but it is not a plus operator some miscellaneous information and i want to say one one more thing is uh, from 1.7 onwards there is one uh, operator underscore operator underscore uh, we can use between what here numerics system dot uh, here i am writing like a system dot out dot uh, println system dot out dot uh, println now you are writing like one like as it is one like printed but if you want to give more readability about our output more readability about our uh, program then we can write what here underscore then we can write uh, underscore underscore okay so anyhow uh, we will uh, see separately about this underscore where we can use the underscore how can we use whether we can able to use before uh, dot and after dot that we will see in one separate video i hope you enjoy this uh, uh, last two videos uh, in the last two videos i did uh, 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 in the last video i did talk about how plus operator is useful for doing addition and especially in this video i did talk about how plus operator is useful for what here concatenation i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe to channel thank you